The president has a hundred day mandate. Do you think with the level of activities and with the level of concern that you are raising with the president? Okay. He just spoke about the central bank. He said that the 
Miles government left 20 million and they announced 40 million. That was just directed because it's only on documents. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to be inviting uh, the Central Bank of Liberia to give us a bank statement as to what was actually left into the Central Bank. What Baga wants to do with the remaining uh, 200 million? What he wants to do? Okay? Baga has started building home. Baga just bought a home along the EAW Highway. Is that an issue? No, is issue. We are talking, why is he hiding 200 million? Why is he hiding 200 million? Why Bwaka wants to start teaching the Lafra people so soon? Why is also Bwaka, why did Bwaka take away the war crime code from his speech? That is completely dishonest and the because he was threatened by Queen Johnson. This is, this is complete, it's completely wrong. And you cannot start carrying the country, you know, at this early moment and start to be very dishonest to us. Leadership come with honesty. You cannot do that. The most dishonest speech ever in our political landscape is this speech today. And I think Bwaka should resist from this. The old man should resist from this. I'm speaking about what he just said. I'm not speaking because I'm from the opposition. I'm a legislator representing my people at the 50th right. National right. Legislature. And I'm telling you the honest reality. You also follow the speech. What he just said, I'm telling you it was right. It's honest to us. So the, the, eh? the way forward is for going to be honest. So I'm going to use what I have that was given to me by my people in section of Tuesday. We're going to make sure that we work for that. Well, the power that was given to me by my people to represent them. So if there's an issue, or we're not going to come out here to insult. We're not going to come here to fight. But we're going to intellectualize the issue to inform the Latin people that Waga just misled or Home and Waga misled or. According to you, you have to give it back. Very well verified. President Weir announced why he left, and it is proven on record. And he is. Have you verified for the Central As a legislator, yes, I did. Why? Why did you invite him? If you are very far, why are you inviting him? We are inviting the Central Bank Governor. Why are you doing so? You are very far already. We try to end our speculation because now he is speculating. And President, we have spoken the fact, but he is speculating. And his speculation must have had a, 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 a very negative uh, intention. So we don't want that to happen here. This is wrong. So, okay? This so, is wrong. And the issue about the blood, I mean, the, the, the drug tax that you have to talk about, <laughs> that's a good thing. But Bwaka's son got a ghetto right behind his house. So it should be, there should be drug tax. Let's start with Bwaka and his children. The I agree. I agree with that. But it's so it's selling drugs right behind the house. So we have to investigate that. Yeah. Walker's son has a ghetto right behind Walker's house. Yeah, and we must address that. Yeah, Sorry? Yeah, you are aware you're asking me for a picture? Yeah, you are aware that Walker's son sells yeah, drugs? Yeah, Chief, do you have a picture to what you're talking about? So I'm telling you now, when Walker just spoke to you, when President Walker just spoke to you, did he give you a clear picture of what you're talking about? That is just a mere letter. That's a letter. And I think we have to desist from this. Thank you. Yeah, what do you want me to say? Well, today the president gave his first state of the nation address. Uh, what exactly do you take uh, from his, uh, his speech? Yeah, to be precise, I was shocked ever in the history of Liberian president giving a hand up or uh, speech. This is the first time of his kind I hear a sitting president mentioning uh, culture and tourism into his administration that culture and tourism is going to be very paramount on his agenda. He's going to separate culture and tourism from that of the Ministry of Information. And that have been some of our prayer view, that have been some of our prayer in in, in government that they should see how best to separate culture and tourism from government or information for which is propaganda for government. You cannot mix propaganda with entertainment, which is a very silly uh, decision by our president elect, Honorable Joseph Imokweka. I really appreciate that. And I hope, as he said it, we should see that happening. We should be living to see that happening. We hope that all those things that he said, which of course our Past president who came from an entertaining background, never thought of that, never think of it, never had a second or slash talk to say, okay, you are going to allow Ministry of Cultures and Tourism going to be a separate ministry on a government to function independently. But then when it comes to our president-elect, Jose Yuma Bueka, His Excellency, he thought of it. And I want to say thank you so much. 
I took that very serious. And I admit. And the president mentioned you? that uh, he and the president uh, will be the first to take the job. Uh, they draw us text. text. How, how do you see that? Which is a good one. Which is a good one because people in power, you know, drugs and money work together. People who have money, they are the ones who do drugs. I don't have money, I don't do drugs. You understand? Money and drugs work, work together. So people in power, they are the ones who mainly do drugs and do business with drugs. So if the president comes and say now, nah, he want to take, he's going to be the first person to set the example to go and take the test along with the vast. I tell you, I really appreciate those statements because our children are dying from drugs. You cannot afford to live in a community where you are surrounded by 15, 16 ghettos. You have your kids there, they are growing up. Sometimes our fear here is if the child is not on your watch and then you are not there to watch the child, the child will sneak and have a friend or a relative. At the end of the day, you see the child taking drugs and that child dream or a, a mission the parent have for that child will be twisted. But I hope and pray that every government official, every librarian take this into consideration that those days we used to do drugs, these days we're no longer doing drugs do you think and the it will stop. Thank you so much. So we are staying here at the ground of the Capitol building.